To build this week's project, the Jewel Thief, you will need some common components, such as a toroid, ferrite, you can find these in power supplies, computer monitors, all sorts of places. They will often have wire wrapped around them. You will also need a AA battery, it doesn't even have to have a full charge, it can be almost dead. That's the point of this project. Also you will need an LED, I am using a white one. Next you will need a 1K resistor, I salvaged mine from a circuit board. Also you will need a 2N3904 transistor, but any other small signal type will work, such as a 2222. You will also need helping hands, wire cutters, wire strippers, and you will also need some solder, some wire. I am using twisted wire because you will need two strands to do this project. And last but not least, you will need a soldering iron to solder everything together. So the first step is to take your toroid, and if you have the wire wrapped around it, you will need to remove it. Mine was impossible to remove, so I just decided to cut it off. This is probably the easiest way to do it, and uh, once you cut the wires off, you can just throw them to the side. We will not be using those. Once you do this, you will just end up with a normal toroid like I have here. This is ready to be wrapped with wire. So then you take your wire, two strands or twisted wire like I have, and cut off about two feet. Then you take the wire and you take your toroid and you loop the wire through the toroid as I have done here. Then you start to wrap the wire through the toroid and go around and around and around and it takes a really long time. It took me like five minutes to do this but uh, that's why I sped it up. Be sure to keep the wrapping tight together if you can and uh, the more wrapping the better. That'll make your Jewel Thief work better. So, that's really all I have to say about that. It's not, at the end, it gets hard to get the wire through sometimes, though, with so many wrapping on it. So then, as you can see here, I'm doing the last... I'm running it through for the last time, and... That's it. Now I have my coil completed. It should look something like that with a wire... with two pairs of wires something like that so next step is to strip the wires which is why you need the wire strippers of course and not nothing I really have to say about that it's pretty straightforward just strip the ends off of the wires And uh, I'm just getting rid of the ends. And as you can see, I stripped the ends off. Then twist the strands if you use stranded wire like I did. So that they do not unravel and get all destroyed and messy. And uh, as you can see, it should look something like that when it is done. And then you take one wire from each side and wrap them together. So in my case, I took a... You're supposed to use opposite colors. So I used a... I used a uh, red wire and a white wire and twisted them together. Make sure they are from separate sides. This is very important. And they have to be the different colors. So uh, now the next step is to solder the resistor onto one of the leads, one of the wa single wires that aren't twisted together or anything. Solder the 1K resistor to that. Doesn't matter which one, as long as it's one of the single wires. Not the ones that we just twisted together, one of the single wires. As you can see right there. Pretty straightforward. Next step is to take the transistor and splay the leads apart. 
as I am doing right now. This will make it easier to solder too. So, as you can see, I am going to solder the resistor, the other side of the resistor, to the base pin on my 2N3904 transistor. Be sure you use the base pin, which is the center one on all, um, on all basic small signal NPN transistors. And it took me a couple tries because my leads were trimmed pretty short using salvaged parts. Which I highly recommend doing. Check out my desoldering video if you do not know what I'm talking about. And it should look something like that though when you're done. And then you're going to take the other lead, the other single lead, and attach that to the collector pin of the transistor and just wrap it around like I did. The collector is the one on the right side of the base if you have the flat side up. At least on the 2N3904 transistor. I'm not sure about others, but I'm pretty sure of other small signal NPN transistors are wired like that. And it should look like that. And uh, one of the last steps here, you take your LED and uh, I'm going to tin the leads on mine, so that's easier to attach to the transistor. So, how it's going to work is the positive lead, or the longer lead, goes to the collector, and the shorter lead, or negative, goes to the emitter, if I am correct. Yes. So, that is how you wire your LED to the transistor. Pretty simple, just be sure you don't get the parts too hot. Don't want to hold the solder gun on there too long, it'll burn stuff out. And it should look something like that. So as you can see, this is the final step. Hook up the positive of the battery to the two wires we twisted together, one of the first steps. And then take the negative and hook that up to the emitter on the transistor, and you should get that. A very bright white LED running off of 1.5 volts. It's a pretty cool circuit, and it works great. I highly recommend building it. You can use almost dead batteries. So try it out. Try building it. It's a fun project.